Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today I want to show you how to create this C creature in directly in Blender 2.8. Let me just play it for you here, directly in OBS, sorry in, in Premiere Pro. Uh, as you can see, let's switch off the audio here, you can see that uh, we have uh, this uh, creature and uh, it has these kind of uh, hair particles uh, that have uh, a sphere attached to them that emits light. Uh, now, if you have ever tried uh, doing this using the particle system, you can see, you, you already know that uh, it's nearly impossible to attach any object to a particle here, uh, to hair particles. Uh, so what I divide, the, the way I got this to work is that uh, instead of using a hair particle, let me just open up a new project, uh, maybe just show you the project directly here can see we have this is the creature and you can see we have lights uh, point lights attached uh, to the hairs that move with the hair and also those uh, spheres attached uh, to the to the creature and uh, so those lights are what is lighting uh, the entire scene yeah so let's let me just create a, create a new project and show you how to set this up so open up a new blend file and then add something like uh, an icosphere. I just reduced the subdivision to something like one. Go to edit mode and then delete all the all the edges and faces so that you only remain with uh, vertices like this. Hit E to extrude and then Alt M at merge them at the center so that you have one point uh, like this. Now you can set a vertex group uh, for this uh, for this uh, vertex. Make sure you assign it. Now select the inverse of that uh, so that you can select the uh, other vertices. Hit E to extrude that and uh, scale that, that out. Now the reason we're doing these steps is because we're going to be using uh, we're going to be using a we're going to be using a cloth simulator uh, to create uh, that a uh, wavy motion uh, to simulate the hair uh, system instead of using a particles hair system because as I said, uh, you can't really attach objects to hair particles uh, if you're using the hair particle system. So now that we have that, just select uh, this middle one and then select the inverse. Uh, we want to subdivide this a few times so that we get enough resolution uh, for our cloth simulation. Now, if you go to the uh, physics tab and uh, click uh, cloth simulation, playback, everything will hold down. Now, uh, the vertex group we created here, we can use it now for, we can use it as the pinning group uh, for our object. So let's find shape and then use that as the pinning group. You can see now everything falls down. Uh, we don't want uh, the particles to fall down. We want, we don't want uh, gravity to affect uh, this here. So I'll just remove that gravity. Now, right now you can see that, uh, let me first reduce my timeline to about 100 frames can see that uh, because we don't have any forces acting on this here uh, nothing is really happening so what I can do is add a force field of turbulence uh, so that we have some turbulence in the hair as you can see now we get something like that and uh, so now to attach uh, particles or spheres onto this hair uh, what we can do is uh, create whatever you want to attach let me just use a Suzanne head uh, because I want to have a, a lot of hairs uh, for this so so if you use an object with a very high resolution or a lot of polygons, it's going to slow down your simulation. So just be wary of that. Uh, so now that we have that, what I can do is uh, select this uh, creature and uh, give it a new particle system. You can see that uh, it's, meeting, it's emitting all its particles are from the center. You want to go to uh, under emission source, change the emit from faces because we don't have any faces on this. Uh, object change this from faces to vertices so that particles are emitted from the vertices uh, but uh, we don't want each of the vertices to produce uh, to emit particles we want only the outside the outer particles uh, to emit uh, the particles now uh, you can also just set this as a hair a particle system because what we're going to be using is a hair particle system to attach uh, this uh, to this hair to this uh, simulation so what we want to do is uh, attach uh, these this uh, sphere to only the outside uh, vertices uh, like this so what we can do is uh, select everything and then 
can select everything. We can select the middle vertex, then control plus to select uh, more and more until we'll we arrive at the last vertices and then control I to insert uh, to invert uh, your selection so that you have something like that and then go to object data and uh, set a new vertex group uh, for those vertices selected then assign and uh, have something like that now we can go to the particle system and uh, under uh, vertex group I uh, select uh, the second vertex group we have just set uh, to be our vertex group uh, what this will do is uh, it will have the particle system we have just created emit uh, the hair particles only from those vertices in the vertex group and uh, now we can go under the render and change our render as from uh, from path to object and then select this as our object now you can see we have now we have now got particles up, uh, attached to our object you can see they move with our hair so then uh, the other thing uh, the other thing you have to note here is that uh, uh, we have 1000 particles but uh, we only have uh, how many 12 vertices here so this means that uh, some of these particles are just on top of each other so what you want to do is uh, have as many particles uh, as what you have in your vertex group so we have 12 here so I can go here and say 12 vertices let's see and uh, make sure you remove I you, you check off random order random order so that each of the vertices you have has one uh, one particle so this is now what we have and uh, the rest is very easy you can animate this as as you want so if you want to animate this you just have to attach you can just select this middle vertex then control edge uh, to hook it up uh, to attach it or parent it to a hook uh, that you can move around uh, or animate around so to make the animation very m uh, much easier you know wh what I'm going to do is first change uh, the shape of this empty at something different so that I don't confuse it, confuse it with uh, other uh, edges I have in my scene so just change the shape here and scale it down just a bit now to animate this uh, what I did instead of just moving this directly I just parented it to an uh, to a circle like this because I wanted to have a circular motion and uh, I parented uh, this uh, to this control P and then animated uh, this circle so let's give this something like that now when I play back you can see this is what we get uh, if you if uh, this is moving but uh, the, the rest of the hair or particles are not following it I just go under to your modifier just go back to your modifier stack and uh, make sure that uh, this hook is above uh, the hair modifier so move it up and uh, now if you play back you can see that uh, this will start following uh, the that now what I did uh, is I went into uh, the keyframes uh, for this and uh, if you hit control tab you can access uh, the curve editor and uh, just added some animation modifier uh, to the Z property which is uh, the circular rotation of uh, my curve so key um, F curve modifier and added a noise modifier to this so that I have some bit of noise to the animation and uh, just play with the strength we just we, we just want some bit of an organic uh, motion for this uh, that's a bit uh, too fast and uh, the animation is also too fast so I'm just going to slow it down by moving the keyframes apart so you can see that uh, we still have some of these keyframes catch it so yeah, that's what we want now you can see we have some bit of um, organic motion now you can see that uh, if you try rendering this you won't see you won't be able to see any of those particles or any of those hair particles simply because are uh, simply because uh, they don't have any faces to them so to make them renderable or so that you can see them uh, what you want to do is uh, select uh, the mesh and uh, give it you can either give it a skin modifier but I found that uh, uh, since it's going to slow down our machine too much 
uh, especially if you're going to use more than a few of these uh, tentacles. So let me just control A uh, to reduce uh, the size of uh, those, the thickness of those. But uh, you can see you can get a thickness to those here using the uh, skin modifier. That would work, but you can see how how much our uh, frame rate has dropped. So imagine if you had more uh, vertices, and uh, you can add more vertices by simply going to edit mode, shift D uh, to duplicate uh, these vertices, then rotate them around so that they are not on top of each other. You can also just go to different perspectives and even scale these up more and uh, select everything, right click, merge by distance, and merge them into a distance. So if you do this, a few more times you can see how laggy uh, the entire scene becomes because of this um, skin modifier if i remove that everything goes back at normal speed Let me hide this and i remember to also go back to the particle system and uh, increase uh, the particle count to match your vertex count can also check uh, that uh, all the all the outside vertices are selected or are in uh, this vertex group that has uh, the particles and uh, you can check your particle count here so it's 48 vertices so we need 48 vertices as well to have every uh, hair have a particle so now if you play back you can see so using the skin modifier will just slow down your scene quite heavily so uh, an easier way to add a uh, thickness to this is by using the screw modifier so if you add the screw modifier it will look well, at first it will look very weird uh, just go on and reduce uh, the angle v angle uh, value here uh, from here 360 to something like one and uh, that should give you some yeah you should get uh, that so now uh, the hair particles have uh, the thickness we want without affecting our frame rate uh, that much and uh, if you want because you can see this is a flat surface if you want to give them more thickness i'm um, sorry it's starting to rain here so i might have to end the tutorial uh, soon so but uh, if you want to add more thickness you just have to add a solidify modifier here to give them more thickness like that you can see our frame rate has slowed down but uh, not that much compared to what we are getting uh, with the skin modifier anyway uh, that's the most complicated part of everything uh, the rest of the scene is just the environment and uh, I use the same technique to produce uh, these uh, things here uh, for the ground uh, as you can see from the uh, video here uh, those it's the same technique except they were not attached to anything it's just a cloth modifier I didn't want to use uh, the hair particle system which can produce the same thing but uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.